What's up, man? Um, last fight prediction. Ryan Garcia, Oscar Duarte, 12 round, 140 pound fight. Ryan Garcia, Orthodox fighter, 5'8", 70 inch on reach out of California, 25 years old, 23 wins, one loss, 19 wins by way of knockout, and he been knocked out one time by Tank Davis. Oscar Duarte, 27 years old, Orthodox fighter, 5'9", 71 inch on reach out of Mexico, 26 wins, one loss, one draw, 21 wins by way of knockout. He's on the 11 fight knockout streak, bro. They trying to get Ryan Garcia ass whooped, man. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications. Catch me live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30. You can also catch me live every Sunday morning with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. And um, hit me up if you want to debate, man. Knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. And, um, you know, if you don't want to do that, you can always come by the live stream that we do, man. And, um, and hit me up that way and just hit the link and <laughs> we can get it cracking. But so many things about this fight that just... It's so many questions in the air that just leaves it as a toss-up to me. I don't know what the odds are. I really don't, but I see this fight as 50-50. To me, it comes down to whether or not Ryan Garcia is going to catch Oscar Duarte coming in with one of his signature left hooks. And if he catches him, can he hurt him and stop him? To me, that's what it comes down to. Also, Ryan Garcia, when you look at Oscar De La Hoya, you look at Bernard Hopkins, they beefing heavy right now. They beefing heavy. Even in the press conference, Ryan Garcia was just going at Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar over here squinting his eyes and shit. He going at Bernard Hopkins. He like, I know they want this dude to beat me. I know they backing this guy to beat me. And when you put somebody, when you put Oscar Duarte in there, who got one loss and then went on an 11 fight knockout streak, and that loss was by split decision, and he got a draw on his resume from way back in his third fight and been on the run that he's on. He's on the tear. He's a strong fighter. Coming forward, a body snatcher. Ryan just got stopped to the body. Ryan got a new trainer in Derrick James. This is a tough opponent for your first fight under Derrick James. But Ryan does have the, the edge and hand speed. But Ryan needs to be coming forward. The one thing he can do going backwards really well is a check left hook. But if you can get him going backwards and avoid that check left hook, now you got action. Now you got action, and it could get real ugly in there for you. So, I mean, it can get real ugly in there for Ryan because he can't really fight inside. His defense is not that good. Um, he has to be have his feet planted to throw. Um, that's why he has certain moves. Jump in, left hook is explosive. Fast hand speed when his feet are planted. And when you're coming in at him, jump back, check left hook, bye. That's what he's good at. For Oscar Duarte... Pressure fighter extraordinaire. Not fast. Um, basic high guard. But he coming forward. And he trying to do damage to your body. And he hit hard. And he letting his hands go. And he letting them go hard and heavy. And he know how to cut off the ring. But in the case of Ryan Garcia, he knows he don't have to cut off the ring. And it's not going to be as hard for him. Because he can close that distance on a slow-footed fighter. Like Ryan Garcia, bro. Um, paths to victory. Ryan Garcia can stop him at any moment in the first six rounds. Because Oscar Duarte, the way that he comes in, he's really open for that Ryan Garcia left hook. And if Ryan Garcia time it right and you catch him on the chin, he can cut, it, he can cut his lights off. He can win by knockout. The longer that the fight goes, though, I think Oscar Duarte, that would mean that Ryan is getting landed on. Because Oscar Duarte ain't going to be going backwards, bro. He ain't, he don't fight like that. And he ain't, he not getting to the biggest moment of his life. He feel like he a real Mexican. Came up in Mexico, a real Mexican. He feel how the Mexicans used to feel about Oscar De La Hoya. Like, like, he feel like that about Ryan. Like, you ain't no real Mexican, bro. I'm finna show you what's cracking. He coming to get Ryan, bro. So I know he's not going backwards. So to me, if the fight is going rounds and rounds and rounds, that means Ryan Garcia is having trouble landing that left hook. Oscar Duarte is closing the distance, and he's beating on him. And he's doing him bad. Ryan Garcia is telling us that he's dedicated for this camp, that he's going to look the best that he's ever looked. Have people looked the best that they've ever looked after a Tank Davis fight? Did Mario Barrios look the best that he ever looked in the Keith Thurman fight after he fought Tank Davis? No. 
he looked good against Eugenius Ugas. Does has Leo where Leo Santa Cruz at after the Tank Davis knockout, bro? How has Roley Romero looked after the Tank Davis knockout? Ryan Garcia got put down in the second round and stopped in the sixth or seventh round. Whenever Tank stopped him, doing what? Throwing that signature left hook. Will he be as willing to throw while another shot is coming at him? Will he be gun shot? So many questions. For Oscar Duarte, you try to drown Ryan Garcia. You try to grown man him. You 27, he 25. But you you a, you a grizzled veteran. You the one that's coming up that people ain't, you ain't got no endorsement deals. You the body snatcher. You the pressure fighter. You press him out. And you get to his body and you wear him down and you make him have to stand in front of you and fight. No flashy shit. You come in with your guard up. You come in ready to do something. Ready to, ready to just show him that he a little boy to you. That's your path to victory. Closing that distance. Turn this shit into a mark. You got to push his head back. Throw him on the ground out the clinch. You got to go in there and you got to bully him. Because out at mid-range, out at long range, Ryan Garcia is just too fast for you. And speed does kill in boxing. And Ryan do got good timing. And Oscar Duarte ain't the best fainter in the world, bro. He's not the best fainter in the world. So we going to be in for can his power, can his strength, can he be disciplined enough to get through the storm of Ryan Garcia? Can he be disciplined enough to take the power of Ryan Garcia? If Ryan does land that hook and then just keep coming, that's where the fight is going to be won and lost. As far as who I'm picking and why, bro, I can see Oscar Duarte just wearing on, on Ryan and beating him up and mauling him and sending him to not wanting to fight. I got questions about the dedication of Ryan Garcia after getting that huge Tank Davis payday with all the Instagram followers that he got, with all of the other um, social media following that he got. He don't need boxing and he act like he don't need boxing. He was clowning at the Tank Davis press conference eating tacos and shit. Thinking everything was cool and what happened to him? Dudes be having lasting effect when they take them type of knockouts psychologically and physically. He showed quit in them. And by quit, I mean... He, if he if he, he knew that Tank was going to knock his ass out, he knew the fight was over, and he decided to preserve himself. Oh, it's a minute and something left. My, my shit still hurting. I can't hardly breathe. I'm finna get, get up and be compromised out this bitch. Nah, I'm straight. Nah, I'm straight. But I can see the talent coming through and him just catching Duarte early in the fight with a left hook, and then now Ryan Garcia is back on top of the world and people singing his praises again. Or I can see Duarte just beating him up and wearing him down, bro. As far as who I'm picking and why, I've been going back and forth on this for a while, bro. I'm gonna go. I I got Ryan Garcia, bro. I got Ryan Garcia. Getting beat the fuck up. Yeah, that, that's what I got, bro. I got to go with Ryan Garcia beat up because as I continue to break down this fight and I play out the different ways that it can go in my head, I can only see Ryan winning by knockout. And he got a chance to get it because Oscar Duarte going to be open for left hooks. He going to be open for left hooks. But I can see Oscar Duarte wearing him down and stopping him to the body. Or I can see Oscar Duarte wearing him down. The fight's close and competitive, and he just start taking all the late rounds, dropping Ryan a time or two. Ryan getting up, showing heart. But Oscar Duarte still beating on him and shit. I can see that happening, too. And we know Derrick James ain't stopping no fight. And then that's the other thing. Ryan got a new voice in his ear. 
when you get to changing trainers like AJ do, like Ryan Garcia been doing, bro, you searching for something. Something ain't there mentally. Something ain't there mentally, bro. Something psychologically is off with you. And if a motherfucker can make it just hard enough on you, you might fold and you might wilt. Like AJ did after the first Andrew Ruiz fight. Ain't never been the same since. And I think Oscar Duarte on the 11 fight knockout streak, being as confident as he is, being the, the, the body snatcher that he is, if he can be just defensively responsible enough to get inside that left hook, he's going to have huge advantages. He's going to have huge advantages in that fight. And the discipline that Ryan would have to fight with behind his jab, throwing his one-two, controlling the distance, I don't know if he can do that with Oscar Duarte. Because Oscar Duarte is so aggressive, bro. He don't care. And what we're seeing lately is that these aggressive fighters – or that they love to get on the inside. We're finding out that boxers want to box. Boxers don't really want to fight no more. If you make a boxer sit down and fight, they fall apart. And Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia may find himself having a fight in this fight. And I don't think he's going to be able to do it. So I'm going to go with the upset in this one. Um, but again, if Ryan Garcia wins, it's going to be by knockout by way of left foot catching Oscar Duarte coming, coming forward. First six or seven rounds of the fight. If Oscar Duarte gets to the back half of the fight, he's dangerous. Specifically, if he was having success going to Ryan's body early and getting inside on him and wearing him out and shit, he dangerous the back half of the fight to stop Ryan. I'm going to go with Oscar Duarte, and I'm going to go out on the limb here, and I'm going to pick him by stoppage between round 9 and 11. Um, I just think Ryan Garcia won't be there mentally. I think he's focused on all the wrong things, talking about Shakur Stevenson, talking about Tank Davis still, talking about Oscar De La Hoya, worried about Bernard Hopkins. Um, and his history has showed me fake mental illness. I got a Manny Pacquiao fight. Um, he wasn't dedicated to the sport before he got a huge payday. Now you got your huge payday with Tank and you dedicated to you. Now you're going to be the most dedicated than you have ever been in your entire career. And I'm supposed to believe that Derrick James had all this time that he was putting in on you when he'd been getting Spence ready for his fight and got Jamel ready for his fight this whole time. And something just seemed off with the Derrick James camp right now. Like Frank Martin and shit, doing what he did, pulling out the Shakur fight. I just, I ain't blaming Ryan Garcia on Derrick James because I think Ryan Garcia was having problems before that. But I just don't think that Ryan Garcia is going to trust the instructions and the shit that Derek is trying to show him and he's going to resort back to his old self looking for that big left hook being flat footed chin up in the air and I think Oscar Duarte is going to take advantage to be able to land some good shots I think he might get Ryan out of there late in the fight y'all let me know who y'all picking comment below smash like sub to the channel I'll see y'all soon peace out